Jason Lee, the man who knows it all, he knows your darkest secret. Uh, like when I say dark, I'm talking about only God probably knows. And the second person know the second person that knows your darkest secret is Jason Lee. Jason Lee exposes names of people who he saw partying with Diddy at his crib before the diddler broke out the baby oil. Check it out, man. Check it out. You know, we know he's not lying. A lot of these celebrities. Hold up, let's go back. A lot of these celebrities. Every single celebrity in the culture has been to Diddy's house. Which means they've gone through all his phones. Text messages. I can read you my text message to Diddy. What day is it airing on the show, on the network? Are you coming on the show? Diddy, what's this? The, 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 it's all been business for me. It's been business for me. I don't have nothing inappropriate to them people because I don't deal with them like that. So you mean to tell me all those late nights, what you doing, where you at? I've seen Jay-Z at his house. I've seen T.D. Jakes at his house. I've seen Chris Brown yeah. at his house. I've seen Jordan yeah. Woods at his house. I've seen Travis Scott at his house. I've seen um, Beyonce at his house. I've seen, yeah. I've seen Tiana Taylor. I've seen them all. Now we was all in the backyard, but I've seen them all. It is the big homie. I've seen Usher there. I've seen oh. the baby there. I've seen Justin Bieber there. I've seen everybody's been to a Diddy party. Uh, I've seen Lindsay Lohan, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, Tyrese, Amber Rose. I've seen I'm all up in there. Mary J. Blige. I've seen them all. But just because you go to a Diddy party doesn't mean that you were getting sprayed down with Vaseline and baby oil. Because I can tell you right now, ain't nobody ever sprayed me with nothing. And I don't even play around <laughs> like that. Let me tell you about me. I am so private with my personal intimacy that I love the fact that my business is private. Anything I've ever made public, I've talked about it on my show. I've been pretty much an open book with the action activities. But I try to conceal the names because I don't want them people bothering them i learned as people started getting to know me they would go track down anybody i'm involved with and then harass them the people i deal with are private people they don't want their business in the streets and we ain't spraying each other down with baby oil listen smart man he kn he knew how w he knew about the weirdo and stayed far away from that strictly business me, I can't do a business with a weirdo like that. If I knew, if I know some, uh, if I know somebody is horrible like that, a horrible human being, I guess the month business comes first, blah, blah, blah. But I can't do it. Guilty. I feel like I'm associated with that person. I, I don't even want to do it. Right? But he's right. Not every celebrity that was in Diddy Party did, you know, did the freaky, freaky, freaky dicky thing, you know? But... It's the after parties. The celebrity that stays that stayed after the party, you know, those are the ones that we need to, you know, we need to question. But you know, the the one that's like early in the day, everybody see them, blah blah, cameras on, boom, boom. It's the after when the lights are when the lights are off. When the dealers start kicking people out and keeping some people in, those are the celebrities. He need to go to jail with him ASAP. But Jason Lee, he knows. He knows a lot. He knows a lot. He probably, he probably saw bigger names in there and he just didn't want to say it. Because then he know, he know they will come after him. On to the next.